tell him about Lauren. And we're taking that to the grave. What do you want, Tariq? I want the truth. Give us a sense of how Tariq Braden and Effie are working as a friend unit, as a business unit, as a mini family at the beginning of the season. Well, um, <laughs> for them two, for Braden and, and um, Effie, obviously it's kind of weird and, and kind of a little bit awkward because they're holding something from Tariq. And obviously Tariq doesn't, he's oblivious to it. So he's just thinking everything is fine and dandy. And these two, they're over here trying to figure out how they're going to escape the whole situation without the truth coming out or they're trying to figure out how they can get the truth out without Tariq losing his mind. You know, it doesn't really affect their work together until it affects their work together. <laughs> In the beginning, everything is, everything is pretty smooth, but you know. The reason why Zeke's dead, I should have just left him in North Carolina. Damn. Monet loves all her kids, but she really loves Zeke and he's gone. And I bet that the three kids that are remaining are a little bit like, chickens have come home to roost a little bit now. Talk to me a little bit about how they're feeling about their mom at the start of the season. For Drew, he feels that he needs to be there for his mom and for his family, but grief shows up in different ways, right? I think Drew's grief manifests in the need for independence and they need to latch on to something other than the family for once. With Diana, um, she wants to be there for her mother, but her mother is somewhat pushing her away. I don't know why you're bringing that sh in here. Ma, you need to eat something. Please, don't say nothing to me. Kane is just always in search of his mother's love. He wants to be his mother's favorite, you know what I mean? Um, but he's just not. And I think that's just something he's gonna keep chasing. I hope he finds it. I hope we see him find it this season. That'd be great. I think that'll answer a lot of questions for him. But right now, I just think he's just in search for his mother's love. I don't think we've ever seen Monet as low as she is at the start of this season. Do you think this is maybe the lowest she's been in her life? Yes, because she lost her baby that they were reconciled almost, you know, and then he gets killed. And she also lost her exit strategy, which was him, because she doesn't want to be in the game anymore. And now she doesn't have either, so she's not doing well. <laughs> I have never related to her more than when she's like, I got to watch my shows, and she's watching like crappy daytime television. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's definitely at a low, because Monet is just not that. I mean, the first couple episodes, you are not rocking Monet's signature, like, head-to-toe looks, right? I mean, her version of sweats, I would say. She's out of it. She doesn't care how she looks. She doesn't care how she's moved. She just wants answers. She wants answers of who killed Zeke because she wants to know how is she getting out of this because she wants to get out. And nobody has answers, and that husband is home, and he has everybody on the corner again, and, and it's ruining her, her plan for, you know, the big picture. She was doing a really good job of running the business when Lorenzo was in jail. And now, aside from him being home, her attention is focused on finding Zeke's killer. Yes. Uh, is she aware that she doesn't have a f as a firm grip on the business as she did maybe last season? Yeah, she's definitely aware because this man in her life is making her see things like that. But she had, but she's not, she just want to do things the way she want to do them anyway. So she's really not sharing what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but she does see that, you know, she's going to have to get that control back. Zeke was her favorite, right? I mean, and uh, now she's got three kids still there who are a little bit like maybe like they're grieving as well, but they might also be like, hey, we were here the whole time. What's her relationship like with with Kane and Diana and, and uh, Drew at the beginning of the season? Her relationship with Kane and Diana is, and Drew is suffering because it's not that Zeke was her favorite child. It's the child she had to give up as a child. And then that bothered her all her life that she had to lie and all that stuff. And then she brought him to bring him closer, then he gets killed. So everybody's bearing the brunt of her stuff that she's gone through. 